Hits of the bounce. The three knockdown rule in effect. The standing eight count is not in effect. This can't stop the fight. And this bout will be on the 10 point must system. Now let's do our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bella Enter HD Nets Broadway Boxing Mohegan Sun from the Grand Boyle at Manhattan Center. Tonight's fight by Debella Entertainment and sponsored by Construction, HBO Sports, and Everett. This bout is sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission and Ron Scott Stevens. The referee, by the way, is David Field. The judges, Robin Taylor and Bob Gilson. The boxing doctor, Joseph Herrera, and Arnold. The next bout is scheduled for eight rounds in the junior welterweight division. Introducing first to my left, out of the blue corner, weighing 54 and a half pounds, he reigns from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, undefeated of 5 and 0, oh, three wins by way of knockout, wearing red with white trim, is Sergio, the Latin And to my right, in the red corner, wearing black with silver trim, also unbeaten, with eight wins by way of knockout, 154 and a half pounds, Brooklyn, New York, the Iron Horse, Schedule the box eight rounds. You both know the rules. My commands at all times. Most of all, protect yourself at all times. Touch eight rounds of boxing. Melendez versus Paul. A lot of power in Lincoln with a seven and zero record with eight. Yo, Melendez five and zero three. 21 year old from Philadelphia against the 24 year old from Brooklyn. Round one. We look for how does Melendez, the southpaw, he's never fought a southpaw as a professional. He told us he's only fought one or two as an amateur. So this is a bit of a new experience and a daunting one when all of a sudden you're fighting a mirror image of yourself. How do you want to fight a Well, ideally, the first thing you want to do is move to your left, away from the power. Of the south point. your lead foot, your left foot on the outside of Powell's foot. That takes away Powell's left hand, makes him reach for you. So Melendez backpedaling and the Kupal, the aggressor early on, keeps that right hand a little bit low. But Melendez, both hands high as he circles towards his left. So Kupal has established his jab. Now he sneaks in the up jab, landing on the chin of Sergio Melendez. Offense against the southpaw. Most trainers teach the lead right hand. We haven't seen one from Melendez yet. The jab is usually ineffective against the southpaw. You're either jabbing his shoulder or glove. It just you just can't find the range with it. And that might take away one of uh, Melendez's biggest weapons, given his. Uh, Saku Paul, the busier fighter here in round number one. As Melendez takes his time, tries to figure out the very strong and aggressive southpaw. Saku Paul with all kinds of amateur experience, 149 and 7 as an amateur, including the 2001 U.S. National Amateur Champion at 156 pounds. There's a straight left to the body as he pivots. Minute to go in round number one, scheduled for eight. And a straight left hand blocked by Sergio Melendez. Melendez missing with a wild uppercut. 
Well, Melendez looks tight to me. His punches are not flowing. On a rare occasion. A little bit of a... Just looks tight. Hobbling it once again. That right hand all the way down. There's another straight left hand landing to the midsection of Sergio Melendez. He backs off Powell with a left hook. Saku continuing to be aggressive with the head movement. And a right hand stumbles. And Melendez is down. A short right hand flooring Sergio Melendez here in the first round. This is Broadway boxing. Tonight's boxing is... Saku Paul recording a knockdown in the first round against Sergio Melendez as we take a look at the copy box punch stats for round number one. And with that, that, that shows Melendez, 22 punches only. Clearly Powell's round and Powell's round by two points. Powell landed seven jabs. And he looks like he's in a little bit of trouble, Melendez. Powell with a body shot and Melendez goes down again. Tonight's CompuBox stats are being sponsored by Watkins Staffing, New York's newest staffing company headquartered in Long Island. Contact Watkins for all of your staffing needs at www.watkinsstaffing.com. Sergio Melendez in a lot of trouble. He is. He's a little bit frozen in there, I'll tell you. And, and when he gets hit with big shots from Saku Powell, he's going to freeze up even more. And that straight left hand of the body, very effective now. Melendez gets on his horse and starts to move. But Powell continues to cut off the ring and another straight left hand drops Melendez again. Four, five, and six. We're celebrating. Smelling but trickles out of Melendez. He lands a left hook, out of left hook. Pow. Takes a step closer. We're seeing a little life, Gus. We're seeing a little life from Melendez. Maybe he gets lucky with one of these shots. More likely, he gets hit with one of these shots and goes down for the fourth time. Pow, focused. Another straight left hand. Putting his punches together and Melendez takes a knee, and that is it. This one called in the second round. Saku Paul with the second round TKO of 21-year-old Sergio Melendez. Devastating performance, Gus. Very easy fight. Melendez was never in it. Saku Paul improves to 12 and 0, his ninth KO of his career for the 24-year-old from Brownsville, Brooklyn. His last fight back in February of this year in San Diego, California, knocked out Kirk Douglas in the first round, and remaining true to form, he does the same thing to Sergio Melendez, who falls to 5 and 1. And the final punch stat numbers. Saku Pao throwing 86 punches, landing 34. 40% success rate. Melendez on his heels from the very beginning, throwing 36 punches, landing only 11. So Saku Pao, one of the up and coming young junior middleweights in the country. And he has picked up his 12th win of his career. Now let's go to Sid Rosenberg for the final decision. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Three knockdown rule in effect here. Dave Fields, the referee, stops the fight at 201 of the second round. The winner, and now 12 and 0, still unbeaten from Brooklyn, New York. Saku, the Iron Horse, Pow! 
So Koo Pao, a very energetic and impressive two-round knockout against Sergio Melendez, and he's standing by right now with our Steve Farhood. 